masih bersama tugas enteng. Jangan lupa klik subscribe dan juga lonceng agar kamu mendapatkan pemberitahuan pertama kali ketika tugas enteng upload video. Listening section. In this section of the test, you will have the chance to show how well you understand spoken English. There are four parts to this section, with specific directions for each part. Part 1. Directions. There are three items in this part. For each item, you will see a picture on your test paper and you will hear four short statements. The statements will be spoken twice. They will not be printed on your test paper, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. When you hear the four statements, look at the pictures on your test paper and choose the statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, on your answer sheet, find the number of the question and mark your answer. Look at the sample below. Now listen to the four statements. A. The man is very happy. B. The people are very tired. C. The girl is using a computer. D. The meeting is challenging. Statement B. The people are very tired best describes what you see in the picture. Therefore, you should mark B on your answer sheet. Now let's begin with the picture marked number 1 on your test paper. Number 1 A. They are selling vegetables in the stalls. B. They are making transactions at the market. C. People are loading vegetables in the market. D. Vegetables are available for sale at the traditional market. Number 1 A. They are selling vegetables in the stalls. B. They are making transactions at the market. C. People are loading vegetables in the market. D. Vegetables are available for sale at the traditional market. Number a. The workers share their machines. B. All of them are wearing hats. C. They are sewing clothes. D. The workers are displaying their products. Number 2 a. The workers share their machines. B. All of them are wearing hats. C. 
they are sewing clothes. D. The workers are displaying their products. Number 3. A. They are all the same height. B. None of them are wearing glasses. C. They are all wearing formal attire. D. All of them are not facing the camera. Number 3 A. They are all the same height. B. None of them are wearing glasses. C. They are all wearing formal attire. D. All of them are not facing the camera. Part 2 Directions There are four items in this part of the test. For each item, you will hear a question or statement spoken in English, followed by four responses, also spoken in English. They will be spoken twice. They will not be printed on your test paper, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. You are to choose the best response to each question or statement and mark it on your answer sheet. Now listen to a sample question. You will hear Would you like a seat in the front row? You will also hear A. No, the bed sheet is really dirty. B. Yes, please. Have a seat here. C. Sure, that would be great. D. No, I don't like raw fruits. The best response to the question, would you like a seat in the front row, is choice C. Sure, that would be great. Therefore, you should mark C on your answer sheet. Now, let's begin with question number four on your test paper. Number four. Can I get you something from the restaurant across the street? A. I can get one across the street. B. I'm going there in a minute myself. C. It's one of the best things on their menu. D. The restaurant has been open for three months. Number 4 Can I get you something from the restaurant across the street? A. I can get one across the street. B. I'm going there in a minute myself. C. It's one of the best things on their menu. D. The restaurant has been open for three months. Number 5. 
What do you say we grab some coke? A. I like them wrapped carefully. B. Yes, I'm very hungry. C. Let's cook it now. D. That sounds great. Number 5. What do you say we grab some coke? A. I like them wrapped carefully. B. Yes, I'm very hungry. C. Let's cook it now. D. That sounds great. Number 6 Aren't you coming to the party tonight? A. Yes, I'll do my part well. B. The party starts at 7. C. Guests are coming earlier. D. No, I have some deadlines. Number 6 Aren't you coming to the party tonight? A. Yes, I'll do my part well. B. The party starts at 7. C. Guests are coming earlier. D. No, I have some deadlines. Number 7. I can't believe the price of eggs these days. What do you think? A. Two dozen, please. B. I know, it's incredibly high. C. The sale was yesterday. D. I think he won the first prize. Number 7. I can't believe the price of eggs these days. What do you think? A. Two dozen, please. B. I know, it's incredibly high. C. The sale was yesterday. D. I think he won the first prize. Part 3 Directions There are four items in this part of the test. For each item you will hear a short conversation between two people. You will hear the conversations twice. They will not be printed on your test paper so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. On your test paper, you will read a question about each conversation. The question will be followed by four answers. You are to choose the best answer to each question and mark it on your answer sheet. Example. You will hear, the driver will meet you at the gate. What kind of car will he be driving? He will be driving a large black limousine. You will read, What will the woman do? A. Meet the man at the gate. B. Look for a specific car. C. Wait at the door. D. Drive a car. Choice B. Look for a specific car.
is the best answer to the question, what will the woman do? Therefore, you should mark B on your answer sheet. Now, let's begin with question number 8 on your test paper. Number 8 Let me introduce myself. I am the finance department manager. As you know, I need a new employee at an entry-level position that will work closely with the accounting department. Now, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I was a student at the University of Indonesia and I just graduated with a bachelor degree in finance. I have been working part-time as a payroll clerk for the last two years. What are your strengths? Tell me why I should hire you. Number 8 Let me introduce myself. I am the finance department manager. As you know, I need a new employee at an entry-level position that will work closely with the accounting department. Now, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I was a student at the University of Indonesia and I just graduated with a bachelor degree in finance. I have been working part-time as a payroll clerk for the last two years. What are your strengths? Tell me why I should hire you. Number 9 Excuse me? Is there a bus that goes directly to the city hall from here? Yes. Bus 47 comes every half hour. It stops in front of the police station, which is next to the city hall. Or, if you are in a hurry, you can grab a taxi. Well, I have to be there in 15 minutes. So... I'll have to take a taxi. Thanks for your help. No problem. Have a good day. Number 9 Excuse me? Is there a bus that goes directly to the city hall from here? Yes. Bus 47 comes every half hour. It stops in front of the police station, which is next to the city hall. Or, if you are in a hurry, you can grab a taxi. Well, I have to be there in 15 minutes. So, I'll have to take a taxi. Thanks for your help. No problem. Have a good day. Number 10 Did I miss something while I was on vacation? The IT department changed our computer system. So last week we had a training session. We were given new login IDs. Is there a lot of information I need to learn? Not really. There are just some minor changes. You are going to need to get your new ID and password right away, though. You should talk to the IT manager. Number 10 Did I miss something while I was on vacation? The IT department changed our computer system. So last week, we had a training session. 
We were given new login IDs. Is there a lot of information I need to learn? Not really. There are just some minor changes. You are going to need to get your new ID and password right away though. You should talk to the IT manager. Number 11 Hi Mark, can you finish your project by Thursday? The President wants it before he meets the Board of Directors. Definitely, there are two more days until Thursday, so I have plenty of time. Actually, the President isn't meeting them until early next week. So, maybe I can get more time for you, if you need it. Thanks, Sophie. But that's okay. I'll finish the project in time. Number 11 Hi, Mark. Can you finish your project by Thursday? The President wants it before he meets the Board of Directors. Definitely. There are two more days until Thursday, so I have plenty of time. Actually, the President isn't meeting them until early next week. So, maybe I can get more time for you, if you need it. Thanks, Sophie. But that's okay. I'll finish the project in time. Part 4. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear two short talks. Each will be spoken twice. They will not be printed on your test paper, so you must listen carefully to understand and remember what is said. On your test paper, you will read two or more questions about each short talk. Each question will be followed by four answers. You have to choose the best answer to each question and mark it on your answer sheet. Let's begin with the following short talk. Questions number 12 and 13 refer to the following information. Hello, you have reached the festival information line. This year's festival begins on Friday June 10th and runs through to Sunday June 19th. The hours are 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily. Admission is $10 a day for adults and $5 a day for children aged 5 to 12. Children under five are free. Family passes are available for $25 a day. Full festival passes cost $75 for adults, $40 for children and $100 for families. Passes may be purchased online at www.cityfest.com 
or by telephone on five 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 six two zero zero or at the ticket booths located next to each festival entrance gate. While most festival events are free, please note that there is an additional charge to enter the beer garden and also for music concerts on Friday and Saturday nights. For more information on purchasing concert tickets, press 1 now. For information on other festival events, please visit our website www.cityfest.com Thank you and enjoy the festival. Questions number 12 and 13 refer to the following information. Hello, you have reached the festival information line. This year's festival begins on Friday, June 10th and runs through to Sunday, June 19th. The hours are 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily. Admission is $10 a day for adults and $5 a day for children aged 5 to 12. Children under 5 are free. Family passes are available for $25 a day. Full festival passes cost $75 for adults $40 for children and $100 for families. Passes may be purchased online at www.cityfest.com or by telephone on 555-6200 or at the ticket booths located next to each festival entrance gate. While most festival events are free, please note that there is an additional charge to enter the beer garden and also for music concerts on Friday and Saturday nights. For more information on purchasing concert tickets, press 1 now. For information on other festival events, please visit our website www.cityfest.com Thank you and enjoy the festival. Now read question 12 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 13 in your test book and answer it. Questions number 14 and 15 refer to the following information. I'm thrilled to see so many people here to register for the workshops in our community centre on food, nutrition and exercise. Once you are inside, you'll see that we've set up a separate 
registration table for each of the workshops. Cooking for Health is on the left side of the room. Exercise for Seniors is on the right. And Family Nutrition is in the middle. Please have your registration filled out and your payment ready before you enter the room. Our staff members will try to process the paperwork as quickly as possible. We may need to create a waiting list for the workshops if needed. If you are placed on a waiting list, we will contact you as soon as we know if a space in the workshop is available. Oh, I forgot to tell you that the children's fitness workshop has been cancelled, but it will be offered again in the spring. Questions number 14 and 15 refer to the following information. I'm thrilled to see so many people here to register for the workshops in our community centre on food, nutrition and exercise. Once you are inside, you'll see that we've set up a separate registration table for each of the workshops. Cooking for Health is on the left side of the room. Exercise for Seniors is on the right. And Family Nutrition is in the middle. Please have your registration filled out and your payment ready before you enter the room. Our staff members will try to process the paperwork as quickly as possible. We may need to create a waiting list for the workshops if needed. If you are placed on a waiting list, we will contact you as soon as we know if a space in the workshop is available. Oh, I forgot to tell you that the children's fitness workshop has been cancelled, but it will be offered again in the spring. Now read question 14 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 15 in your test book and answer it. This is the end of the listening section.